<clears throat> Good morning. Uh, welcome to Lucky Five Farm in the rain. Uh, here in Texas, we don't just get a little bit of rain. Uh, we get the kind of rain that just downpours and then stops. And it legitimately is supposed to be sunny this afternoon uh, <laughs> by 11, I think. Um, the problem that, that causes here, though, is, as I've told you before, we're in a floodplain. And uh, um, it does not do well rushing across our, our area. So I want to give you some footage show you what a floodplain looks like, show you what this place looks like um, as it floods through. So uh, stay tuned because hours it's worth of rain coming across. Um, no good. This is the crossing into our house. Of course, I picked the time to film uh, when you guys hear a uh, gigantic fire truck behind us. Uh, so here's the, uh, here's the entrance to the home. Low water crossings definitely needed and uh, repairing downstream definitely needed because this bad boy is a river. And uh, we built some banks, but God dang, do we have a lot of work to do. This is not gonna be good. Uh, I don't think that's crossable today, to be real honest with you. So uh, we're gonna take a look and uh, see what happens. But yes, this is, the, uh, this is what happens when you live in a floodplain and you haven't taken care of the creek. And so the water backs up because it's got nowhere to go downstream. So uh, there you go, kids. Thought we'd share. As you can we'll see, see we navigate it. it's all the way through and really rushing. Just coming straight across and going straight out. And uh, not fun, not fun at all. I think this piece right here changes what I might end up doing. Uh, with regards to making this creek wider, I think it actually needs to be widened out all the way across. We need to cut through here. Not completely sure, but I am gonna tell you this, this causes big problems. Uh, as you can imagine, it's gonna take some time for this to go down, but we also just uh, spent a bunch of time putting a bunch of water, or mud, sorry, not water, a bunch of mud, dirt up in here with the skid steer and our guys from Summit. Um, this makes it a little more complex. You gotta think of what the heck we're gonna do through here. All right, <laughs> more to come. We'll let you know. Part two of the video, yesterday was all the rain, torrential downpour, river running through the property. Uh, today, I'm just leaving the gym. Uh, we're gonna run over to the property. We're gonna take a look and see what is the aftermath. I really think it uh, probably is gonna force us to exchange, uh, change the excavation plans we have this coming week. Um, I also am wildly curious to see how far it's went down. Was it just rushing through and then uh, it's dried up overnight? Don't know, it's gonna be 100 degrees today here in Texas. So uh, the whole next week's 100, 304. Um, so I think it'll clear up just fine for us to do some excavation work, uh, but this is part two. So uh, I'm gonna give you just a quick fade to black, come back in. When we come back in, we're gonna be All walking right, the property. We'll show you what happened. Over there. You can see uh, it actually cleared up quite a bit. Um, got pretty clear water. It's not a raging, rushing river. And as you see this way, back down to normal. We'll come back the other way. And same thing, looking pretty normal compared to what it was yesterday. As you saw in the first part of the video, this isn't bad. So let's take a look and we'll uh, cross the river here. Pretty clear, I like that, that's pretty great. But uh, we'll cross the river and we'll see what's going on across the way and how much damage we actually sustained and how much it um, ended up tearing up what we were doing uh, from an excavation perspective. So stay tuned. All right, we'll Popped walk down the towards the area that we were filling in the other day. And you can see where the water made its way through. What I'm really happy about is that it actually didn't tear up a lot of what we excavated, which is a big deal. You can see it all stayed together pretty well. But where we struggled, Let's go ahead and go in here and see where we struggled. Here you can see a lot of the um, 
tree branch and sawdust stuff that I was putting in here, the stuff that they had mulched up, you can see where the water essentially has made a path through. I hope this is coming through on video okay, but you can see then how it cuts through. I think this is where we will change what we're doing from an excavation standpoint. If you can take that tree right here to your right, cut in from that, and I believe we will make the bank, get rid of this little island that's out there, those trees in that island, and essentially just make the bank all the way up. I think that's probably the solution that will last better. Because the last thing I wanna do is get stuck out here with a raging two or three days worth of storm and have the water come all the way up and high. So there's a quick update. Hopefully you appreciated seeing some of the change. We'll make some excavation updates this week and uh, get them posted for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for going on the journey and uh, look forward to posting again.